Subscribe to my channel, let's learn and press the bell icon and never miss the update, let's learn. Hey guys, what's up, how are you all? Today we are going to discuss a new topic and today's topic is going to be heat pipe. So uh, these are the contents we are going to discuss. The first is what is heat pipe, the second is working principle of heat pipe, the third is the parts of heat pipe, the fourth is what are the types of heat pipe, the uh, fifth is design considerations of heat pipe, and sixth is effect of nanofluids on heat pipe, seventh is applications of heat pipe, eighth is advantages and disadvantages, and uh, last is the conclusion. So let's discuss these topics one by one. The first question is what is heat pipe? A heat pipe is a device that can quickly transfer heat from one point to another. They are also referred to as the superconductors of heat as they possess an extraordinary heat transfer capacity with almost no heat loss. So what does that actually mean? A heat pipe is a heat transfer device that combines the principle of both thermal conductivity and phase transition to effectively transfer heat between two solid interfaces. Now let's see the working principle of heat pipe. At the hot interface of the heat pipe, a liquid contact with a thermally conductive solid surface turns into a vapor by absorbing heat from that surface. The vapor then travels along the heat pipe to the cold interface and condenses back into a liquid, releasing the latent heat. The liquid then returns to a hot interface through either capillary action, centrifugal force or gravity and then cycle repeats. Now let's discuss the various parts of the heat pipe. A typical heat pipe consists of a sealed pipe or tube made of material that is compatible with the working fluids such as copper for water heat pipes or aluminium for ammonia heat pipes. Typically a vacuum pump is used to remove the air from the empty heat pipe. The heat pipe is partially filled with a working fluid and then sealed. The working fluid mass is chosen so that the heat pipe contains both water vapor and liquid over the operating temperature range. In a standard heat pipe, the condensed liquid is returned to an evaporator using a wick structure exerting a capillary action on the liquid phase of the working fluid. The wick structure is used in the heat pipe includes sintered metal powder, screen and grooved wicks which have a series of grooves parallel to the heat pipe axis. When the condenser is located above the evaporator in a gravitational field, gravity can return the liquid. Now let's see the effect of the nanofluids on the heat pipe. According to the many research papers and the review papers, it has been concluded that the nanofluid has been positively affecting the heat pipes. The efficiency of the heat pipe has been increasing and the re uh, resistance, thermal resistance has been decreasing due to the presence of nanofluids in the heat pipe. Now let's see the applications of the heat pipe in various fields. Electronic components usually dissipate heat and generate fluxes, heat fluxes. So these uh, heat pipes are used in cooling the transistors and high density semiconductor conductors. Second is aerospace. Uh, heat, pipe, heat pipes are used in cooling the satellite solar array as well as the shuttle leading edge during the reentry. The third one is the heat exchanger. In many many uh, factories, the heat exchangers are used to exchange the heat between the components and the machines. So uh, mostly it's in used in power industries and other uh, heaters and boilers etc. Other applications are production tools, medicines, human body temperature controls, engines and automotive industry. Now let's see the types of the heat pipes used in the various applications. The first is the thermosiphon, the gravity assisted wickless heat pipe. Gravity is used to force the condensate back into the evaporator. Second is the leading edge. It's placed in the leading edge of the hypersonic vehicles to cool high heat fluxes near the wing leading edge. The third is the rotating and revolving uh, heat pipe. 
condensant is returned to the evaporator section through the centrifugal force. The last one is the cryogenic low temperature it's a low temperature heat pipe used to cool optical instrument in the space. The next type of heat pipe is micro heat pipe. These are small non-circular heat pipes. These are characterized by the equation Rc by Rh is less or equal to 1 where Rc is the capillary radius and Rn is the hydraulic radius of the flow channel. The next type of heat pipe is flat plate heat pipe. These heat pipes are traditional but are rectangular in shape used to cool and flatten the temperatures of the semiconductor or transistor packages assembly in the arrays on the top of the heat pipe. Now let's see the advantages of the heat pipe one by one. The first one is the thermal conductivity. Uh, as you know that the heat pipe has a very high thermal conductivity and it is resulting into a low, very low thermal resistance. The second advantage is the power flattening. A constant condenser heat flux can be maintained while the evaporator experiences variable heat fluxes. And the last one is the efficient transport of concentrated heat. The concentrated heat is efficiently transported to the other section of the heat pipe. The fourth advantage is, is the temperature control. The evaporator and the condenser temperature can remain nearly at the constant temperature while the heat flux into the evaporator may vary. The last one is the geometry control. The condenser and the evaporator have different areas to fit variable area spaces. High heat fluxes input can be dissipated with low heat fluxes output only using natural or post convections. So that's it from my side. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's learn. If you have any queries, please comment it in the comment section. You can also send me the mail at shakesmile142 at theregimoil.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at my Twitter handle ismile underscore 007.